Bundled with Windows 10 is an app called Your Phone that allows you to link up your Android smartphone and take advantage of its many features directly on your PC's desktop. Microsoft says this is a productivity enhancer in that it stops you from picking up your phone every five minutes to check a notification when it comes in because they're now all synced to the Windows Notification Center and you can deal with them with your mouse and keyboard. So this is a feature Microsoft has been building for the last two years and it's actually super useful yet not many people seem to know about it. So in this video I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the app itself and its many features and hopefully you'll start using it because this really is one of those features that makes your PC experience better. So let's dive in. So this app is already pre-installed on your computer. I have it pinned down here on the taskbar, but you can find it in the apps list as well at the very bottom here. If we click on your phone, that will launch us into the app, which is synced to our Android phone already. So there is a setup process and it takes a few minutes. And depending on the phone, if you have a recent Samsung device, for example, it should be integrated into your device. However, if you have a non-Samsung smartphone or an older Samsung smartphone, there is an app you can download from the Google Play Store to get this integration going. So here is the app. Uh, there's a whole bunch of features we're going to take a look at, uh, but let's start with the recent photos one because that is first on the list. And what this allows you to do is see up to 25 of your most recent photos and screenshots taken on your smartphone. So these are a bunch of photos that I've taken throughout the week. And if I click on one, I get a larger preview of that image with the ability to open it in the photos app for further editing. So if I want to edit this and change some colors and whatnot, I can do that straight from the image on my phone or I can also copy that image into my clipboard and paste it elsewhere. I can also save it to my local hard drive because right now this is being pulled from the phone. But if I click on save as here, I should be able to just save that into my pictures folder and be on my merry way. So this allows you to see a bunch of your recent photos. But what makes this super useful is the ability to drag these images into other programs. So if I open up OneNote, for example, here, and we just snap these side by side, I can actually drag this image straight from your phone into my OneNote. And I can now begin annotating on that and doing what I'd normally do in OneNote here. So I can circle around that and say, hey, this is a thing. And I can ink on it and do whatever I'd normally be doing in OneNote. Or I can also do it in Word as well. So if we open up Word here and uh, open a new document, I can just drag this image in here and begin writing around it just like you would expect to be able to do in Word. So that's super handy. This allows you to take images quickly on your smartphone, import them into an Office document and keep on going without really having to think about it, which is very nice indeed. Moving on to messages, this is a list of recent messages on your device. Now these are text messages, not messages from any sort of message platform. So Facebook messages or WhatsApp messages will not show up here, for example. Uh, these are strictly SMS messages for now. You can see your existing conversations here, but you can also create a new conversation thread as well. So um, this will pull up this chat UI and I can just type in a contact that's on my phone. Let's talk to Microsoft here and we can send a message. Hey, are you there? Question mark. And hopefully he will receive that message and will be able to reply. And there's the message. I can now reply to that message as well and keep on going with a conversation. So that's super handy being able to answer and create conversations through SMS with contacts without having to take your phone over your pocket, unlocking your phone and doing it there. Now, if we come down here, we can see that there's a couple of features here. We've got the ability to insert an emoji using the built-in Windows emoji clipboard. There's also the ability to send a GIF. So if we can search for GIFs here, powered by Giphy, which is super nice. We can also insert an image as well. These will pull straight from my phone or I can also browse for images on this PC down there, which is super handy indeed. Not much, just checking out your phone for Windows 10. Let's send that off like that. Takes a second because it is relaying through your phone. But once that's happened, just like that, and now I'm having a full-on conversation with someone and it's syncing back and forth between my phone and my PC just like that, which is super awesome indeed. So that's the recent messages feature. That's the ability to send SMSs on your desktop powered by your phone and it works quite nicely. So moving on to the notifications area, this is arguably one of the most useful features of your phone as it allows you to see your phone's notifications directly on your PC. So this is super handy for when a notification comes in and it vibrates in your pocket. No longer do you have to pull your phone out of your pocket to see what that notification was. It will just sync to your desktop and pop up like a normal Windows notification and you can decide then and there whether or not you need to pull out your phone and deal with it. And on some phones, you may not even have to pull out your phone. With Samsung devices, for example, any notification that comes 
in can be dealt with using the phone screen feature, which we'll talk about in just a second. But real quickly, I just want to show you this UI here. All of these notifications are currently present on my smartphone, and some of these will actually be actionable. So as you can see here, Telegram, for example, has a box that I can actually enter a message and reply to this conversation. So that's super handy as well. So WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, any communication apps will actually have this option for you. So you don't have to pull out your phone to reply to messages that aren't an SMS, but you just won't get a dedicated threaded UI like you do of SMSs as we just demoed a minute ago. So as I mentioned before, depending on the phone, in this case, it's exclusive to Samsung phones right now. I can actually click on some of these notifications and deal with them straight through the Your Phone app. So if we click on this Xbox notification, for example, this will take me to the screen, uh, the phone screen feature, which will now show me my phone's display and I can swipe up and log in by typing the password here. And there we go, I'm now loaded straight into that notification that I received on my phone, but I'm not actually using my phone. I am using my PC to interact with my phone right now. I'm using the keyboard and mouse to navigate. Um, I can also use the scroll wheel here if I want to, to go home, I can swipe up. And this is this makes your phone even more useful. So now I can just click on notifications here. Let's see, we have one from, we have one from YouTube. I can click on that and that will take me into the YouTube app and begin playing the video, which I don't actually want to do right now. And that's super handy. And as I said, you can actually interact with your phone using this UI. So I can use the mouse here to go up and down. I can click on an app in here. I can open Uber if I want to, to book myself an Uber without pulling my phone out of my pocket, which is super handy. Uh, this isn't something you'll be using to interact with your smartphone full time, but it's there for when you need to use something in a pinch and you can't be bothered or don't want to take out your smartphone from your pocket because you're in a meeting or something or other, which is super nice. Finally, the calls feature, which is in preview right now, this allows us to make and take phone calls directly on our PC as well. Now, this is powered by Bluetooth, um, so your PC needs to support Bluetooth for this function to work. But as you can see here, here's a number of recent calls, and I can click on one of these to either call them back or send them a message if I can't make a phone call right now. You can also search for our contacts. So if I search for Mike once again, he is our demo guy. We can call him, and this will bring up a UI like this which gives us a mute button, a keypad, and the ability to transfer the call from my PC to the phone. So now I'm currently on the phone call. Mike's on the other end. He can hear me. I can hear him. If I open up the keypad here, I can do additional things. So for example, if um, I'm on a call with like a support center and I need to press a number of buttons to get to the correct agent, I can do that through this UI, which is super handy indeed. And that's what that UI looks like. So being able to make and receive phone calls is super handy. So as you can see here, I am now receiving a phone call directly on my PC. Now I can do a few things with it. I can outright decline the phone call. I can send a message instead, or I can accept it. And if I press on accept there, you will see that I'm able to just answer the call and continue on my merry way. The UI sits at the top there and uh, it sort of looks kind of nice. Now, if we take a look up here, you can see your the name of your phone uh, as well as your phone's wallpaper, which is a nice touch. And up here, you can see your phone's battery life. So right now I have 71%. And if I put this on charge, this will actually update to show the phone on charge as well. So if we take a second there, there we go. It's now charging at 71%, which is super nice indeed. But there you have it, guys. Let's a quick look at the Your Phone app for Windows 10. Like I said, this is for Android smartphones only. So if you're using an iPhone, this unfortunately will not work for you. Um, and also some of these features are specific to some Samsung models. For example, the phone screen function that allows you to see your phone and interact with your phone's display on within the app. Uh, that is limited to Samsung phones for now. And uh, no idea if that will be coming to other phones in the future. But photos, messages, notifications and calls should work just fine on most modern Android smartphones. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.